who came to his house this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be a transformation Amen. in your life today. Amen. There shall be a touch from the throne of grace. Amen. A touch that will transform your life. Amen. Today shall be of a difference Amen. in your life. But because you have come for the hearts of your father, you will not leave the same. Every package will be dropped in this altar today because you have come to the house of your father. The only one that says a thing and you come to fulfillment is here. He made it clear in his world. He said, We have two or three Akada in my name. I am dead. He did not stop. He said, I am dead to hear them. To deliver them from every sins, to deliver them from every pain. Jesus is right here Amen. in our midst. Amen. Father in heaven, we just say thank you because we know you are here, Lord. He said, May your name be highly praised. May your name be highly exalted. We are about to hear from you, Lord. Father, teach us your word in a language that we will understand. In Jesus' name, praise. praise the Lord. We are going to pray today. Or oh, before we pray, we are going to look at the scripture so that we pray. Uh, tell me your Bible. Open to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 36. Spring clean water upon them. Then will I spring clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idol will I cleanse you. And a new heart also will I give you. And a new spirit will I pour, put within you, and I will take away the stone heart out of yours, fresh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. When you take this water today, those things that have not been planted by God will be taken away. That stone, that thing that be stand as a hindrance, as you take this water today, those things will be taken away and it will be replaced with the heart of flesh. Amen. And 27 says, And I will put my spirit within you and cast you to walk in my statue. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. 28 says, And ye shall dwell in the land that I give to you, to your father, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. 29 says, I will also save you from all your uncleanness. Everything that represents uncleanness today, as you take this water, shall be flushed out. Amen. And I will call for them, call for the God, and I and we increase it, 
and lay no formed men upon you. I will multiply the fruit of that tree and the increase of that field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the her hated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, as you take this water, the living God that we serve is going to flush everything that is not right in us. Amen. Let us open our Bible to the book of Revelation. Or oh, before Revelation, let us first of all take the book of John. We are going to pray. I just want to take some few verses so that we know if we want to pray. John 7. Seven thirty seven. said in a loud voice, If anyone is tasting, let him come to me and drink. Amen. 38. Whoever believeth in me, as the scripture have said, stream of living water will flow from within him. 39. No, stop at 38. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. So the, in the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man taste, let him come unto me and drink. Amen. If anyone taste and come and drink. What are you tasting of? What is that thing that you are tasting of? Today, as you drink, those things shall come to manifestation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Those things that you are tasting of today, as you take this water, all those things shall come to manifestation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He said in say, 37, 38 says, he that believe on me, if you believe Amen. that those things that you are testing of, as you take this water today, that those things will be taken away. That those that believe, that he that believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of this, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. If you believe that, that those things that you are tasting of, that as you take this water today, that those things that you are tasting of will be taken away from you, you shall receive it. Amen. I said you shall receive it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Those things that you are tasting of, you will receive them. Amen. Open to the book of Revelation. Revelation. 21 Revelation 21 verse 4 I read it says and God shall wipe away all tears from your from their eyes and there shall be no more death, Amen. neither sorrow, Amen. nor crying, Amen. neither shall there be any more pain, Amen. for the former things are passed away. Amen. As you take this water today, there shall be no death. Amen. There shall be no death. Amen. There shall be no tears. 
There shall be no sorrow. Amen. And everything you will be passed away. Amen. All those formal things that give you sleepless night. All those pains that give you sleepless night. As you take this water, they shall be passed away. They shall be passed away. I said they shall pass away. They shall pass away. All those things that give you sleepless night. They are the former things. Oh yes. They shall be passed away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. We are going to look at that same revelation. Before we pray, we are going to use this particular place to pray. But before we go to prayer, let us see go to that same revelation. Seven. That same revelation seven. 17. For the Lamb which is the meat of the truth shall set them and shall lay them unto living foundation of water. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Well, I said 7 17. Yes. Okay, read. For the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lay them unto living foundation of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. Today, we are going to stand on our feet. As we take this water, those things that make us to shed tears at night, at day, Today, as we take this water, shall be wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth as you begin to pray. Those things that cause you to face in night, those things that cause you to face in the day, as you take this water today, all those things shall be wiped in the name of Jesus. It shall be wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus. Those things that cause you tears, that make you to shed tears in the night, that make you to shed tears in the day, that make you to say, God, why all this today shall be the end to it? Today shall be the end to it. Today shall be the end to it. Today shall be an end to it. Today shall be an end to it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today shall be an end to it. Amen. Those things that make you to shed tears. Today is the end. Today will be the end. Because the living God that you serve is right here. It is going to wipe those tears. It is going to wipe your tears away. As you take this water today, that thing that causes you tears in the night, in the day, in the morning, today is the end of it. Today shall be the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today shall be the end. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to go to that 21. I'm praying with that 21. That's uh, Revelation 21. Verse 4. It says that God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. We are going to take this one and pray another. It says, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. As we stop there, we are going to pray this hour. We are going to ask God, every man that will take this water, that God should wipe away their tears. The tears of soul, the tears of pain. Every member of this ministry, let the Lord wipe away their tears in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the living God that we serve wipe away their tears. Let God wipe away their tears. 
Every members of this ministry, let go of what away that tears. That thing they cry there at night for. That thing they are looking to have in their life. That thing that makes them to say, God, answer me. God, where are you? We are going to ask God to work away their tears in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, work away their tears of pain today. Lord, work away their tears of pain today. Lord, find yourself in your life. Lord, when you find yourself in your life, you sense in your word the thought that you have on your children is not the thought of evil, but the thought of good. And understand that end. Lord, we ask, wipe those tears. Wipe those tears in your eyes. Wipe those tears in your eyes. I put a smile on your faces. 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 Oh, you're going out, put a smile on your faces. Oh, you're coming in, put a smile on your faces. In the mighty name of Jesus. So that then we have reason to celebrate. So that we have reason to serve you, Lord. So that we have reason to serve you, Lord. So we have reason to serve you, Lord. Wipe those tears away, Lord. Put a smile on your face, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are still going to pray. And there shall be no more death. We are still going to pray. There shall be no more death in your family. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more death. Anything, anything around there, there shall be no more death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Death shall be far away from death. They shall be far away from death. They shall be far away from death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Death shall be far away from death. There shall be death. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no more death. In the mighty name of Jesus. Neither sorrow nor cry. Neither shall there be any more pain. Justice not to pain. There shall be no more sorrow. No more, no more, more pain. pain. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain. No more sorrow in this ministry. In this ministry, no more pain. No more sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more pain. No more sorrow in this ministry. No more pain. No more sorrow in this ministry. As they take this water. No more pain. No more sorrow. No more pain. No more sorrow. As they take this living water today. As they drink this living water today. No more pain in their life. No more sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every members of this ministry. No more pain in their life. No more sorrow in their life. As the depth of this water. As the depth of this living water. No more pain. No more sorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more pain. No more sorrow. In every life that God has given to this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For the former thing I have passed Amen. away. Every former thing will be passed away. Amen. Open your mouth as you pray. Every former thing. Every former thing. That pain that you are having is a former thing. Those things that hinder you not to have that job is a former thing. Those things that hinder you not to serve God the way it is, it's a former thing. Let them pass away. Let them pass away. Let them pass away. They shall pass away in the mighty name of Jesus. Those former things shall pass away. Those former things shall pass away in the mighty name of Jesus. As we take of this water, 
as we drink of this water, those things shall pass away. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall pass away. It shall pass away. We are still going to pray for this ministry. Amen. Those former things that we are doing, that is not giving God glory, shall pass away. Open your mouth as we are praying. That every member of this ministry, those things that we are doing, that is not giving God praise, that is not giving God glory, those things shall be passed away this year. Those things shall be passed away this year. Those things shall be passed away this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, those things are not giving God praise in our life. For this year, they shall be passed away. They shall pass away this year. They shall pass away this year. Those things that make us not to walk according to the will of God, they shall pass away. They shall pass away. They shall pass away. We shall want to walk of our Father when it is dead. Because the night comes when no man can walk. Lord, those things that is in us, not to walk the walk of our Father. Let those things be pass away. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are seeking to pray for this ministry. Amen. That those former things that we do, that is not giving God glory. That make us of stagnant in one particular place. Let those things be pass away this year. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Those things that make this place to be stagnant. Lord, let those things be pass away this year. Let me pass away this year. This year shall be pass away. Let me pass away this year. Let me pass away this year. Those things that make us to be stagnant. Those things that make us to be stagnant. This year it shall be pass away. Those former things it shall pass away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Because you are the God who answers prayers. Because you are the God who hears. Your ear are open. Because you said, ask and shall be given. When they know.
Father. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Thank you we glorify your holy name for me, Father. You are a marvelous God. There is no one to be equal to you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name that is for whom you are the Lord. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for this hour, Lord of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your servant that you have used mightily, Lord King of Glory. Father, Lord, may you feed him back, O oh Lord of God. I could have left him, O oh Lord, Baba, may you feed it back, O oh Lord. Baba, no wisdom, Lord King of Glory. Baba, Lord, every prayer that we have prayed today, Lord, O oh God, Father, Lord, you will not be left behind, O oh Lord, Amen. Lord. As you answer our own so Lord, you will also answer your servants, O oh Lord. Amen. In the powerful name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you we say glory be to your holy name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who can remind me we all be read first? If we are following our first reading of today, we are the servants of the Most High God read for the first reading. Ezekiel. I really ask you, as the one who read it out, huh? for we that are here, if we are really following, amen, amen. Well, we will read our first reading. Where is it taken from? Ezekiel. Everyone knows Ezekiel. Ezekiel also is our our motto. Thirty-four. Ezekiel what? Is he right, Ezekiel twenty-four? No. Amen. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please and please let us be attentive. Ezekiel thirty six verse thirty twenty-five. I read. I will sprinkle clean water on you. Hallelujah. The Lord says you will sprinkle clean water on us. Amen. Amen. I don't know whatever that have been there that have died in our lives that have not yet come up. But today, the Lord will sprinkle clean water upon us. Anyone that is sick, whatever be in our heart desire, the Lord we sprinkle the clean water upon those things. Amen. Every dirty things in our life we go down to the in Jesus' name. Amen. Because the word of God says, I will sprinkle clean water on you. Amen. Meaning, there was a dirtiness. Yes. Barrenness is a dirtiness. Yes. Poverty is a dirtiness. Whatever that you know that you did not like Every reproach in your life today, by the reason of drinking this water, Amen. you shall receive clean things in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Those things, as God and men see it as a dirty things, as a reproach in your life, and by the reason of drinking this water today, Amen. those reproach shall be removed. Amen. Those reproach shall be removed. Amen. Those reproach shall be removed. Amen. Amen. Those reproach shall be removed. Amen. Those reproach shall be removed. Amen. Father, we pray for this ministry, Lord. Whatever the God Almighty in heaven is seen in this ministry unclean. Whatever man is seen in this ministry as a reproach. But by the reason of the service of what are not King of glory, let those things be taken away. Amen. Let those things be taken away. Amen. Let those things be taken away. Amen. In the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. And it goes on to say, he didn't stop there, there was bit of it. He said, and you will be clean. Amen. He said, you will be what? Clean. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Father, this year, oh Lord, any area, Lord, that there is dirtiness in my life, according to your word, Baba, make me to be clean. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to tell me talk to God. And say, Father, make me to be clean. Father, you know the area so long of God in my life, uh, that I am not clean, oh Lord. Uh. Father, cleanse me by the reason of drinking this water today. Amen. Father, cleanse me. Amen. There are many women they fight, they fight for nothing. But no man approach them to marry them. Father, Lord, King of glory. But the reason of drinking this water today, that dirty thing, so Lord of God, that is covering them, oh Lord of God, that making the rightful man not to knock at their door. Father, Lord, they shall be clean from that dirtiness. Amen. They shall be clean for that dirtiness. Amen. They shall be clean for that dirtiness. Amen. They shall be 